Hi, I'm Dave Wurzel and you're watching PHTV4 Spotlight. And today's Spotlight is on high school sports. We're, we are at Amos Alonzo Stagg High School and with us today we have a, uh, some cross-country reps. We've got head coach Dan Zielinski, uh, Devin, and Devin, right? Devin yeah. and Nick, right? Okay, thanks for joining us guys. Uh, coach Zielinski, maybe a little bit about yourself first. Uh, you've been at Stagg for 16 years, is that what you said? Uh, I've been at Stagg for 19 years. I've been the head coach for cross country for 16. Um, and uh, I teach English here. I've been here my whole career. I've been really lucky. Yeah, you sure are. It's a great place to work, isn't it? District 230. And uh, yeah, that's wonderful. Um, how about uh, Dev and Nick? You guys, you're both seniors on the team. Do you want to talk about how the, how the things have gone this year, the types of success the team has had, how you guys are doing so far? Yeah, it's, uh, our team's been really successful this year. We've really rebounded from last year where we didn't make it out of regionals but this year we have a good shot at sectionals I mean every week when we race we're putting up high numbers good scores everyone's being and left and right I'm really proud of the team good luck when, where uh, is your sectional so we have our sectional at Catherine Lege and then our regional which is this Saturday is at Midlothian Meadows okay good luck a uh, and how about uh, Nick uh, do you want to add anything to that uh, how the season is going for you guys or, or for you guys individually as well yeah, for sure. So, I mean, we've we've really obviously been able to do well in um, our meets throughout the year, but we've really shown at conference. Uh, we only lost by 10 points to a really tough Lincoln Way Central team. It was it was not going to be that close on paper, uh, but we really we really made it a lot closer. We raced well, and uh, we took second. So it's obviously a, a great thing to do. We had three all-conference runners. So, Congratulations again. That's a great step up, right? Like you, you do the seedings, you look at the times where you're expected, but to make that kind of move, that's I think a special, you know, testimony to you guys and, and you know your work and planning and strategizing. Congratulations. Um, so how about let's talk a little bit about you know especially you guys as uh, as seniors on the team. Um, you know, uh, talk about your role on the team to you know help motivate or uh, you know set a, a, a tone in practice maybe. Well, I've been lucky enough to be around the, the program for longer than most guys. My older brother was on the team before I was, so I got to experience what it was like seeing who was successful on the team and who had great leadership roles. So I've kind of looked up to them for my life and try to emulate what they did. I definitely agree. So much of it is just uh, leading by example. It's doing the right things, and then uh, some of the younger guys, you know, they just they follow along, and then the, the team just grows as a result of that. So it's, uh, a lot of it is really just leading by example. Yeah, and that is a great. Uh, you set a message, right, guys? This is what this is what our work ethic looks like. This is how we get after. And obviously, you guys have had success, and maybe coaching. <laughs> Talk about the young men who are with us and the success they've had this year. Sure. I mean, just overall, this is one of the best senior classes we've ever had. Um, we have nine seniors on a team of 34 boys, and uh, Nick and Devin being two of them. Five of our top seven are seniors, and um, from all the way at the start of the summer putting in mileage, getting guys together, training, just modeling what it means to be a, a really successful cross-country athlete at Stag. Um, and it's been fun. This year's been a lot of fun with winning awards. You know, it's always, we always just talk about improvement and getting better, which we have all year, but it's also nice to, to win and to uh, be recognized. So we got first place uh, at TF South, we got second at Revis, and then we got third at Tinley Park. Um, and then, like these guys said, we're coming off a second place finish at conference, and we're ready to go. We're uh, we're amped up for regionals this Saturday. Oh, and that sounds great. And I, I think the successes you list, you know, they are a testimony to the things that you're talking about. And and obviously, we, we all want to be the best we can be at whatever level that is. But to have it recognized and 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 show uh, that type of uh, reward for it, let's say, uh, that that really is great. Again, congratulations, guys. Um, so how about this? Uh, do you want to talk about like going into regional or sectional or, or hopefully you know you guys are getting down state uh, what is the the competition you're facing like who is who are the teams that you have to deal with or the runners you have to deal with you want to... the competition is outstanding um, we're in a really tough sectional we're in a tough regional um, as far as the regional Sandberg has just dominated um, and they probably will again on Saturday Bolingbrook has a phenomenal team this year Downers Grove South is going to be there so um, we're just we're just looking to run the best that we can, get a little closer than we have been to some of the the, uh, the guys and the teams that we're going to see. Um, but it's it's really just about executing from our end and just just getting better every week. Yeah, and that is uh, 
a great thing about sports, there is the element, yeah, there's competition, you want to win, you want to defeat your opponent, but really it's about you being at your best level, whatever it is, and, and hopefully that'll take you where you'd like to go, you know, so, no, that's good. Um, so how about Devin and Nick, you guys, especially seniors, you're going to, and you've probably got some of these questions I'm going to hit you with right now, but I'll give you the easy one first. Any other sports you do during the year? Uh, I do distance track in the, the fall, or not the fall, the spring, the spring and uh, the winter. I do the same. Same. All right, how about this? Choose wisely. You might have a teacher who's going to see this, okay? Favorite classroom subject? I like applied tech classes, like uh, woodworking, stuff like that. Okay. I really like math. I really enjoyed calc last year, and I'm taking some classes at Moraine this year, so. Oh, that's great. Okay, how about this one? Now, let's go. Uh, so we got sports. We've got uh, favorite classroom. Uh, again, as seniors, I imagine you've hit, been hit with this question already. Uh, what are the plans post-high school? So for me, I... Uh, I'm applying to four-year colleges and then looking to get into uh, education for Apply Tech. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, uh, so similarly to Devin, I'm looking at four-year colleges. I want to major in mechanical engineering, so I'm looking at either most likely Purdue or U of I. So. That, that one answer in there is an X. I'm a Purdue grad too, so go Boilers. That, that's a great decision. I hope that works for you. Um, so how about a final one for everybody here? I'm going to put you on the spot. All right, think wisely. We're going to test you here. Inspirational movie or song, what do you guys go to to, you know, like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, this gets me going here. Well, for me, I've always been a hockey fan, so I'd say Miracle on Ice. That's, that's always a good one. So that's my answer. Yeah, no, that's a great story. I'm going to have to go with Rocky. It's just a classic. <laughs> it is an all-time classic. I think that might have been me in high school. You, That's probably predates you by about 30 years or 40 years but uh, I also go with boxing but a better movie Cinderella man even though these guys have never seen it but they, they need to watch it all right there it is yeah Rocky Miracle on Ice and Cinderella man okay good uh, Devin Nick Coach Zielinski thank you guys for joining us good luck uh, you know as you move into these uh, runs the end of the season here wish you guys the best uh, thank you for joining us this morning thank you I'm Dave Wurzel. You've been watching PHTV4 Spotlight, and the Spotlight has been at Stag High School with the Boys Cross Country Program. Thank you for watching.